When faced with an intraoperative meiosis while performing SICS, the removal of the cortex can pose significant amount of challenges. Let's see how it was managed in this particular case. This patient was undergoing a manual SICS for an early nuclear sclerosis. Upon the removal of the nucleus, you can see that the pupil size has come down. So when faced with a situation like this, the challenges of limited visibility, you're unable to see beyond the iris and therefore removal of the cortex with a SIMCO is going to be challenging. Moreover, if you were to use the SIMCO via the main incision, you're also likely to have an unstable anterior chamber which increases the challenges that you would face. I'd like to now take you through this case where you can notice how the surgeon with care and caution is able to completely remove the entire cortex without disturbing the pupil or disrupting the posterior capsule. Let's move to watching this case. In order to perform the cortex wash, the surgeon accesses the cortex via the main incision as well as by the right side port incisions. At all times you need to make sure that you have a good illumination a fairly high magnification and a perfect focus. It's equally important that at all times you ensure that you do not damage the pupil by accidentally holding it. You will note in this case that during the cortical wash, the pupil has gone down even further. It may not be a bad idea to introduce some intracameral midriatic to try and get the pupil to dilate a little. With the pupil now slightly larger, the surgeon now continues with the rest of the irrigation aspiration. Let's now watch the rest of the irrigation aspiration. Note. When you're aiming to pull out the cortex from one particular quadrant, the access always has to be from the opposite side. Once drawn out from the equator towards the center, the subsequent aspiration of the cortex becomes reasonably easy. So in a small pupil, it's important to try and release the cortex from its peripheral attachments, draw it towards the center, after which it can be easily aspirated. For removing the subincisional cortex, the Simco is introduced through the paracentesis incision and the cortex drawn out and aspirated. This now completes the cortex wash. Viscoelastic is introduced into the anterior chamber. You get a viscomidriasis and you can see there doesn't seem to be any more residual cortex. Thank you.